Hello! Welcome back to Zebra Force. Today, I'm not really feeling like working on a specific song um, at all. Uh, today, I think I'm just going to be doing a little bit of, of um, tone creation. I've been using this uh, THU Slate Edition uh, for guitar stuff for a long time, probably a couple of years now. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure every single time, hang on, I, I got to turn the volume down here. I'm pretty sure every single time I use this, I pick a preset from one of these four banks and then um, just kind of edit little things here and there. Like I'll, I'll tweak the, the knobs on the amp or I'll change one of the pedals around or, or whatnot. But today... I kind of want to just create from scratch a couple of presets um, for, for me to use moving forward over the next however long. Um, just going to give myself some new tones to work with. So let's get the guitar, shall we? Hold up. Got to move the slap bracelet to the other hand. Okay, so for the first time ever, I'm going to click this add. And let's do, uh, I don't know what to call it. Oh, enter a name for a new bank. Okay. Um, ZF presets. How about that? We got a fifth bank. Okay. Um, yes. Load and empty. And let's see what we got. I'm going to go for a nice clean tone here first of all do you want a two yes why would i drag it in if i didn't want it and then i need a cab let's go with the little one by 12 yeah I enjoy this. This is a nice tone. Oh, we've got two cabs here. I didn't even realize that it it put both of them. What how does that work? Does it do I get to actually use both of them? I didn't even know that was a possibility on on this. I like having both. That's quite nice. I didn't even know we get like microphone placement options. There's so much out of this plugin that I haven't explored. This is so great. Oh, I can even move the microphones around. Oh, oh man. Okay. Well, I I can't figure out how to switch to to the other microphone. I'm assuming it's shut off because I have another amp. So we're doing like one and one. Let's see what this one sounds like. I kind of liked it more beefy, more in the center there. I gotta mute my mic so I don't get the pick sound. Little heavy. I don't really like 
having both amps, but um, I like the concept <laughs> of having both amps. Is it possible to do, or uh, excuse me, both cabinets? Um, is it possible to do two amps though? Can I can I double up on that? My problem is that it's going into this amp and then into this amp. I was hoping that I could get like a split signal, which I can do thanks to Ableton. So I'm going to try that out. I like this clean tone. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to save this um, clean one. And then I'm going to group this. So this is going to be our clean tone. And then I'm going to, uh, excuse me, not do that. I'm going to duplicate that. And this is going to be other for now because I don't know what it's going to sound like just yet. And now we've got another one here. And I'm going to replace, I like this this uh, orange. I'm going to remove that jazz. Um, probably not use this one by 12, but I did like where it was at. So let's, let's see where we're going here. I want this tone to be very stereo. Um, and whatever I do on this other, uh, channel here, I want it to be separate from the mono signal. I wanted to have a little bit of width and I think I'm gonna delay it a little bit. How about that? Just a smidge though. Um, just a few milliseconds off. Turn off the filter and no feedback, 100% wet. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Um, I I kind of want to give it some gritty, maybe maybe a fuzz, uh, maybe some overdrive. Let's try a distortion. I'm trying to stay relatively within the confines of this plugin instead of adding a bunch of stock Ableton plugins. I'm I'm, I'm trying to at least get something good in here in the the THU slate and then and then I'll do the magic right This is huge. <laughs> it's it's this is so filthy. I'm on the right track, but it's uh too much. We got to dial back the the signal on both of these. It's got too much low. But uh, again, I'm I'm on the right track. I'm going to push this way over so we're not getting so much of that cone. And maybe turn the gain down, treble up, a little less bass. time that I said that I, I wasn't going to make a, a new song today. <clears throat> I lied. I need a nice <clears throat> e-kit and then throw Slam Pup, my favorite way to get some juice out of otherwise poor sounding drums. Here we go. Remember that time?
time I wasn't going to make a new song. Yep, here it is. Found it. I am on the hunt for a bass tone. It seems like that has been the theme for me recently. I I like this. It's it doesn't have enough ass though. Um Yeah, that's it. Um I might be able to make this beefier though. Um I was about to look for a different sound, but I think I can work with this. I'm going to add an R bass. Wait, this is, this is a very stereo sound. Um, and I'm not sure if there is an R bass stereo. But we're going to use some sort of a harmonics plug-in. Yes, there is an R bass stereo. Whoops, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong spot there. Wrong track. Let's go right here. Let's go lower. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is something. This is definitely something. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this again. Uh actually, no. I'm going to duplicate this and just shut off the gritty guitar. I think that's all I need. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. Before I do that, um let's just do it this way. We've got we've technically got two tones here already to go let's do main guitar clean guitar and then this one's just gonna have that grit shut off <laughs> it's so small okay maybe maybe i will double it okay i'll 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 track it again with a, a different tone here i go though using um another preset I actually want to use this preset though because it immediately came to mind. I'm gonna get a little verse section here. I should, ah, uh, maybe I should double track this. You know what? <sighs> Guitar, come back here. Come back here. Let's do a little panning action, yeah? Put that one on the left, put this one on the right. Maybe a, uh, octave. Keeping it simple, I'm, because I, because I, I, I think I want to come in here, and um, I'm actually going to put that one in, in in a center channel, and then this one. I'm thinking. I might try and. Whoops. 
I don't like that anyway. <laughs> Dirty, dirty guitar, and then this one's gonna be a little bit of a um, 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 another dirty, but um, I want this guy to be off to the left, just a little uh, little guy. <laughs> I think that's all I've got time for today. That's a good start. Good start to something. I don't know what I'm going to call this. This is going to have to have a work in progress title. It's there. There's something there. But uh, I don't want to do another long video like I did yesterday. Uh, I really just wanted to make a little, little new little tone. Ooh, you know what? That's the title right there. New little tone. Oh, let's do it in all caps, right? Come on now. New little tone. Finish in 2024. That'll have to do. I mean, that's that's a lot of progress for... That was an hour. An hour of work. Yeah. It's simple, but it, it's it's cool. It's got a good sound. Drums need some variation for sure for the next session on this. Absolutely.